Hey guys, Master is back with the weekly Zer update. I believe this is week 19. Going to show you where he is and what he is selling. He is located down beside the Crucible Quartermaster this week yet again. And this is one of the best weeks we've had for a very long time. So let us get right into it. Uh, quick overview, he has the Glass House, the Acliophage Symbiote, the Obsidian Mind, and of course the Icebreaker. So very, very good inventory this week. Let's go into a bit more detail. The Glass House, the exotic helmet for the Titan, will uh, give you an increased melee attack speed, will give you a thing called a Quintessence Transfer, uh, replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade, great in areas where there's lots of thrall and you can throw a grenade out and uh, replenish your super quite quickly and of course bathed in light which is the exotic upgrade which makes this probably one of the best helmets for a defender titan uh, blessing of light and weapons of light last longer so the benefit you get from walking into the bubble uh, and getting blessings of light or weapon weapons of light last even longer than it used to so very very good helmet i'm definitely going to pick that one up this week uh, let's get into the next one, which is the Acliophage Symbiote. This particular exotic helmet for the Hunter uh, will give you increased grenade throw distance. It will also give you ashes to asset, replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade. Sounds very familiar to the helmet we just looked at. Uh, and of course, the exotic upgrade for this particular helmet is last man standing golden gun gains one additional shot per use so people using gunslinger this is the absolute helmet of choice getting an extra shot uh, really really makes a difference especially if you like to play a lot of crucible on to the next one we have finally the obsidian mind this exotic warlock helmet has increased grenade throw distance uh, increased super energy gain from killing minions of the darkness and the exotic upgrade is insatiable nova bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your next nova bomb meaning in a lot of cases you can just chain supers together providing you have enough kills to actually get your next nova bomb up very very good helmet and i'm definitely picking that one up for my warlock a lot of people are going to be happy that the icebreaker made a return finally uh, i believe it may be the second or third time it has been available but it is an incredible useful weapon if you don't have one and you are on the fence about buying it buy it it is an extremely effective tool in destiny it allows you to regenerate secondary ammo not only for this weapon but any of your other secondaries that you have equipped alongside it so if you had this sniper and you wanted to use a black hammer that was out of ammo you'd equip this let this fully recharge change to your black hammer and you'll have ammo in your black hammer and it works with fusion rifles and other secondaries as well so that's a very good effect uh, good damage and of course the the regen is why you want this particular sniper rifle uh, exotic shards of course your upgrades this week cliophage symbiote Lucky Raspberry, Crest of Alpha Loopy, No Backup Plan, Scarlet of Dire, um, Kara, that's like a long one, <laughs> Light Vion, Nemesis, Galahorn, uh, Thunderlord, Pocket Infinity, Plan C, Last Word, and we round it out with the bad Jewel Jewel. Uh, the Curios this week, we have Scout Rifle, Hand Cannon, and Shotgun Telemetries, Blue Plasma Drive, and the Stealth Drive for your... Uh, sparrows and of course I have the urn of sacrifice there which is part of a mission anyway that's everything get out there get yourself some gear upgrade your gear buy this helmet definitely buy this helmet definitely buy this helmet and buy icebreaker if you don't have one I hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one we'll see you later